everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Minecraft. I am Mr. Envelope over here in front of our new base area, our house. <laughs> um, man, it feels like we've done so much over here, but we're only on like episode 7 with uh, officially living over here and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Feels like I had this much stuff in the other area by like, I don't know, episode 20 already. <laughs> Anyways, it's not about quantity. It's about how fast I can work. No. Um, am I out of books? Okay. I was going to do some enchanting, but I guess not. Uh, I guess I can make a sword really quick, though. And I do need some new boots, at least. Preferably feather falling. Oh, wait. I think I have a... Unbreaking three. Okay, yeah. Preferably feather falling. So let's get some of those. Uh, I've been doing a lot of fishing and stuff, still trying to get mending. Uh, I'm not going to make an auto fisher because, uh, <laughs> I don't know, those always seem like the, the easy way out. Um, what do we get with this? Looting 3, that's one of my favorites. Unbreaking, okay, let's go with looting. Hopefully it's not like Smite or Bane of Arthropods. Ugh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, Smite, yeah, it's like the same sword. That's fine, I guess. Unbreaking. Oh, come on. Let's go for another sword. Let's try that. Uh, sword. And... Okay, let, let's just go for this. Just unbreaking. Okay, that's fine. We have tons of diamonds now. Uh, something happened in between uh, this episode and the last episode. Um, my... The game didn't close right uh, when I went to exit out of Minecraft so when I went to load it back up the first thing I did was check to see if there was any uh, broken chunks or something and uh, sure enough there were so I loaded a backup there was like six of them so it was pretty bad <laughs> uh, there was like six of them so there was just like floating squares everywhere not floating but you know they were just like coming out of the ground of uh, chunks that had to get replaced or something and uh, I decided to just load up a backup which I had made probably like a couple days prior um, but I had to redo a bit of the stuff over there, so it might look a little different. Um, and I had to go remining again, because that was really uh, productive, I feel like. I got tons of resources, uh, and I lit up a bunch of the ground underneath us, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, we might do some kind of farms around here or something, you know, so anything will help. Uh, sharpness 3, let's take that and see what we get. Okay, these are just terrible. <laughs> Depth Strider, uh, okay, let's, let's stop with that, let's use some of our books, we have 37 levels left, uh, I've been fishing up a lot of good stuff, this is, um, a bunch of other stuff that I've been getting from fishing over there, I had to just stick them in my ender chest, what am I looking for, we got Depth Strider, there we go, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4, Depth Strider 3, Protection 4. We just need to put Mending on these, but they'll probably break before that happens, so... That's fine, we got all these books, might as well use them for something, right? Um, I kind of don't like that you get the uh, Trident enchants when you just like enchant books and stuff, because... I mean, Tridents are supposed to be pretty rare, so... Why, is it, why are the enchants for them like so easy to get? I feel like it just makes getting actually good, useful enchants uh, a little more difficult. I'm probably just whining about nothing. Uh, let's save those two smite swords. We can use this for uh, wither skull collecting whenever we get to that. Um, hopefully soon. In fact, we're going to be doing something. Can I put... Uh, is it even worth putting unbreaking on that? It kind of is. This is a pretty good sword. Uh, let's just do this real quick. 8 levels, 20 levels, yeah let's go with 8, there we go, nice, now it just needs a lot of other things to make it better, <laughs> um, what am I doing, I need to sleep, um, what was I saying, I, I want to do some stuff in the nether, not today, but soon, um, but what we are going to do today is get started on the sugarcane field, I didn't get a chance to uh, start working on it, because um, you know, my, I had to load the backup and redo everything that we had done before. Whoa. Um, so we're going to get started on that today. Um, we're not going to spend the whole episode on it because I don't want to do too much buildy stuff. But what I do want to do later, 
uh, I'm gonna try to do some time management uh, is I want to uh, get started on a brewing system um, this episode might take a while for me to record because I want to get like a little bit of building done but I don't want to do it like for the episode if that makes sense uh, I kind of want to do it right here you know have some beachfront properties um, make one of them like a, a potion area I know I had said like when we first started the world I wanted to make a cellar uh, we might still do that but we're not gonna put the brewing stuff down there <gasps> oh good I want to oh he moved dang it uh, we just need like a few more ender pearls and then we can look for the uh, dungeon what's it called the stronghold <laughs> um, yeah so we're not gonna put the brewing stuff down below the house uh, we're not I was kind of thinking about maybe making like a wizard tower type of thing but that that's kind of overdone right and plus I'm not good at towers or wizards so <laughs> we're just gonna kind of do like a little shop and uh, in the back of the shop will be like a whole brewing setup thing and good news uh, for people who have watched uh, this series a whole bunch uh, you might know that I have some pretty bad history with the uh, auto brewers uh, I copied somebody's brewing tutorial for like a small compact uh, brewing system um, and it was really good it worked very well but then they changed something changed and all the auto brewers just like stopped working and I tried so hard to fix them <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing and I just could never get them to work but uh, every so often I would go back uh, to them and try to do some troubleshooting just try to you know maybe tweak some stuff use the little bit of redstone knowledge that I have uh, and try to figure it out. Well, I finally got it to work. Um, the redstone for it is kind of ugly, but uh, I'm not, I don't really care. I'm just glad I got something to work. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use that design. So, yeah, I'm very happy. We'll uh, look into it uh, in creative too, because I don't know if I'll actually get to building it today. This, this, A lot of this episode depends on me um, doing a lot of off camera work too, so. Uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> uh, but what I'm doing right now is I'm not getting rid of this like lump of land I'm just well I am getting rid of it but I'm getting rid of it so I can put down water source blocks um, it'll just make putting everything down a lot easier so let's get rid of those things we don't need and then let's grab some of this ice I mean uh, going out every time I go out and I see some ice I usually will grab a few stacks so we have plenty of ice Oh, I need to grab my other pickaxe. Or this is going to take a long time. Um, oh, you know what? That should be fine. This will melt on its own, right? We're in the wrong biome for it to stay cold. Oh, I don't have my ender chest. That's annoying. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to make uh, infinite sources and stuff. This might work. <laughs> What am I trying to do? Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. I wasn't sure if it needed like an enclosed container for it to like spread properly. But here we go. Okay. This should make like a nice odd shape for water. <laughs> oh, am I doing this wrong? I don't think so. Okay, so if I put this here. I didn't realize like how much work this is actually going to take uh, to do the whole sugarcane farm because this needs a lot of water and they all have to be you know or every sugarcane has to be like next to water duh I'm sure people know that I don't need to explain that uh, I don't know what shape I'm going for with this chunk of land but uh, why we need the water and stuff or why I wanted the source blocks there is because then I can just go like this I don't have to manually put a bucket down for uh, each spot where I need uh, the top half of the slab. <laughs> I had to look up to see what slab was. Um, what was this thing? Oh yeah, so these can get waterlogged and stuff. Alright, so the end product would be something like this. And of course, you know, I'll, I'll clean up the edges. Uh, it's not going to be just up here. Uh, we're going to, or I'm going <laughs> to. You know, slowly remove the second layer, um, repeat this whole process again, and cover 
Uh, I don't know how much land. I want it to be visible from there. Obviously this will be, but I don't know how far down this is going to go. Uh, I want to fill in some of this hole too, so I need to collect some stone so it's not just hollow. Because uh, that would bug me. Um, I don't want to get totally get rid of this dip right here, but uh, sort of mend it or something. Because, you know, there's some holes over there too. Um, but yeah, we'll have this go down this little slope just a little bit, I think. Maybe up to like that edge. It'll stay right there something and then I don't know how far back we're gonna go either we might even uh kind of keep like an opening right here or something so we can have a pathway maybe who knows uh, but because there are water sources inside of there uh, we're able to put down sugarcane and oh wow this is really bright <laughs> um, yeah this might not look as good as I thought but we're gonna need sugarcane and I think this is one of the best ways to farm it. It's not automatic. Um, there's no like auto harvesting, auto breaking. Or I guess that's harvesting. Auto collecting. <laughs> there's no no automation in this, but I think we're gonna get the most sugar cane from this. Uh, yeah, and that's why I'm doing it. Um, also, cause Ninny. I think. Yeah, I think I said that. I liked how his sugar cane field looked. Uh, in his world so there you go that's what we're gonna do and then for lighting I think I I talked about this when I first brought this idea up um, I'm not gonna do it now because I want to see how big the field is but uh, we'll just do something like this put some glowstone down and then trap door and then the light can still get through there it won't be as bright I think because of the water or maybe it will be water has changed how much light can pass through so there you go. That's what uh, I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to get started on those uh, the houses on that little property over there. Alrighty, guys. So, this is all that I've really made. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alrighty, guys. So, this is pretty much all I've really been doing. Or, this is all that I've been able to do. Uh, I haven't been playing on this too much. I haven't been working on this world, making any uh, progress really. Um, I've been, I think I, I mentioned this before last video too, and uh, briefly in the beginning of this episode. It's been like over a week since I recorded the first bit. Um, I've just been spending a lot of my free time playing other games. Uh, I usually get into this habit around this time. Uh, <laughs> like uh, I, I hooked up my GameCube and stuff and I've just been, you know, playing a bunch of other games like Smash Bros. Uh, Melee, because I'm super excited for the new Smash Bros. game. I've uh, been getting back into Pokemon again. You know, just been doing some other stuff that aren't Minecraft. Um, but this is, you know, I think you guys saw this <laughs> when I was like, I'm going to put all this stuff down and we'll see how it looks. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. It's super ugly, you know. It's just, it's um, it's sugarcane fields. And you know what? Uh, I was watching back one of Ninny's old episodes of his old Let's Play World. Uh, the way he had this was he had like clear rows, so this wouldn't have any. This would be sugarcane, and then this wouldn't. It wasn't like a checkered pattern. He had like um, strips of sugarcane and stuff. But uh, I think what we're doing is going to be a little bit better for our needs. Uh, but this is still pretty much inspired by Nini sugarcane field, and it's over here in the back still, you know, because we want it to be far away because it's kind of an eyesore i went ahead and made a retaining wall right here we'll spruce it up later uh, i'll probably put a house or not a house but like a building right here or something that was kind of the idea i had um and then we have a walkway here you know we got more walls uh right here and stuff i want to fill this up just a little bit maybe two blocks higher so it'll be flush with this ground level and then you know see what we get going right here uh what gets planted um but yeah, if you look at my inventory, it's kind of a mess. We have a lot of redstone stuff because I went ahead and I built those buildings over there. I know we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I watched back what I did record and it's about 15 minutes already and I've been talking for two minutes already. Wow, that's a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I had said that I wanted to build like those buildings up front over here. Uh, I went ahead and did that. They they went through such a process. I think doing this is also what made this episode take a little longer because I wasn't sure what I was doing over here. I had like a a really small idea, like half-baked. And 
when I finally came up with something, this was like the only building that I thought looked uh, acceptable. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to do something kind of like this, you know, more of a narrow, flat, um, square looking building and stuff. And then over here, I had some look super terrible. It was, it was bad. And I'm glad I decided to scrap that. Oh, I wish I didn't pick this up. Um, it was all bad, but I went ahead and I tore it down and, uh, I decided to put a little, uh, horse stable parking spot right here. Uh, obviously we'll clean it up a lot more because this is a super flat wall. The ground is all green. It, it doesn't make too much sense right now, but the idea is there. I'll have to work on it later, and I moved the portal right there, in case anyone's wondering. Uh, and I had to go to the nether to go get some nether wart, because if we're doing the whole uh, potion brewing area thing, um, we need nether wart for that. And you know what? I just remembered. It's over here or something. There we go. I have some nether wart growing. Uh, is it all done? It is. Alright. There we go. Let's just replant that and get out of here. There we go. Fill that in. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I had another one, but I didn't. So I had to go in the nether, find that uh, fortress again, and I kind of made a pathway uh, over to it and everything. But uh, really quick before we come in, uh, I'm pretty happy with this building. I think it came out okay. It's nothing special. Um, I wish... Having these two buildings here, I want there to be maybe like some here and then there. And then maybe some more back there. So it's not just like these two random buildings in this giant open space. Because I know we got some beach property right here. You you're, you technically don't see a lot of buildings on the sand. Um, just because there's, there's poor foundation there. So if you do have beachfront properties, you typically want them to have some distance away from the beach. So uh, I think if we put a couple there and there, it'll make this place look a little more alive. And it'll make uh, some sense. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's nothing nothing too crazy. You can already see the brewing uh, auto brewers down there. It's very plain. Right here we'll have, you know, a staircase or something. But I gotta build these uh, brewing auto brewers first before we can do any of that. Uh, before we do any landscaping back over there. There's a small upstairs over here. I don't know what I would put here. Maybe a bed. Just something so we can uh, sleep if we're on the go and stuff. This isn't anything special, but it is going to be the storehouse for all our potion supplies. Alright guys, I'm sorry, but I don't know how well this is going to flow with the uh, rest of the episode already. <laughs> but, uh, I've discovered a flaw. A big old nasty flaw with this uh, brewing system. And I decided, or I ended up recording like the whole episode because I didn't find out what the problem was until we were just wrapping up. Um... But since then, I have gone into my creative world, I have, I guess that part could have stayed. I've gone into my creative world and I, uh, I fixed the problem. I found out what the problem was, I fixed it, it's good. So this is the old brewing system. I don't know uh, how much of the old recording I'm keeping, so this video might be all over the place and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> um, but this is the old brewing system. What we have here is a button, you push it. Uh, potions will have been stored here and then when you push this button, they fall through. Uh, when the brewing stand is empty, there's going to be a time where it's just empty. This comparator will get unpowered. Uh, it's going to send a pulse up to these uh, ingredient dispensers to the brewing stand. Uh, and it's also going to send a delayed pulse over to this water bottle dispenser. Uh, water bottles will be stored here and then they'll get uh, renewed back into here. And then when the empty bottles are here... Um, the ingredients are going to start flowing down, making new potions, and then again, it'll happen when you push the button. Um, everything's going to start anew. So that's how the old one works, and I found out that it's not going to work too hot because... This. This is what was giving me problems. In my testing world, I had only put like a single drop of blaze powder, uh, and it worked fine because it consumed it immediately and it filled up the fuel burner thing right here. But what I didn't know is that if you have more than one, like a whole stack of the stuff, uh, the comparator is still going to read that, which makes sense, but it totally threw off this whole system, so we had to scrap it. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is something, I think, a little more simpler, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Uh, we're going to go like that, I believe, one of those, 
we need a repeater set it to four ticks drop a redstone so when we push this button uh, it's going to unpower that which is important because this is where the brewing stand is going to sit with the ho uh, with the hopper yeah uh, so this this redstone torch locks the it locks the hopper right god i couldn't think it locks the hopper so bottles aren't just constantly flowing through here because if there's no way to stop this hopper from pulling stuff it's just going to constantly pull whatever's inside of here and that's something we don't want to happen um what happens next i don't know no i know maybe uh actually i think that was fine i think we go like this this redstone uh is a little more compact now which is a small bonus i think it goes you know what i'm sorry i'm like i just uh put this all together and i'm barely remembering how it goes uh, no, I think that stayed there. <laughs> I use slabs, by the way, to help me remember if I'm ever digging around and stuff. To help me remember where things go. Um, and then let's put these here because I'm starting to get a little confused. Okay, in the complete wrong spots. That's fine. That goes there. I'm out of hoppers. Right there. Uh, we're going to need some of these boys. The droppers. This is what the ingredients come out of. All right, and then, uh, sorry, I just put the rest of it down because I noticed my neighbor outside was talking and he got a little louder, so, um, it's just basically the same kind of idea, uh, except everything is just more fluid, I feel like. It's a single, uh, circuit. Oh, wait, no, except this over here, too. We got, we have to put something to store water bottles and we don't want them to pour in all the time. Uh, it's still pretty fluid, though, I, w I would say. Put that there, that there. That is pretty much it. I believe so. Uh, so, same idea. Whenever the button gets pushed, it's going to give the ingredients. And it's going to give water bottles. And you know what? I think we want the delay over here. Because we want the ingredients to go inside these droppers as soon as possible. Let me double check my redstone. And yep, it's, uh, it's good. This, uh, this should work. So... Uh, let's grab some bottles. Let's empty our inventory really quick. Oh, I have to calibrate the ingredients too. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this too. If we put this here, we shouldn't have any problems with this being here now. Uh, I should go sleep really quick in case a mob comes down from there. All right, guys, I think it's working. So at this point in time, uh, we got some bottles potions <laughs> and we got some potions brewing uh they're doing their thing and again I, I don't know what i cut out already uh from the old recording um this design is something that i've tinkered with before but i could never get it to work again uh except now you know i actually gave it some time and energy so that's why it's finally getting redone again um but the the premise of this uh brewing system is uh, you have already made potions inside of here. There'll even be maybe a bit of a backlog inside of this chest. So whenever I want, I can just come by, grab whatever potions I need, push this button, and skedaddle. Uh, but what's happening is when I push the button, you know, whatever's inside of here, the potions that were brewed, uh, they get sent to the chest. New bottles are getting emptied inside of here. And then... These droppers are dispensing the proper ingredients, and uh, you might have to do some calibrating on what goes where. Um, because sometimes, you know, I, I'll just throw in another word up here, but you, you want to make sure the, the, uh, the right order is set up. Uh, and that's super easy to do, you know, just swap some things around. Uh, this brewing system can support up to four ingredients, so if I wanted to make these splash potions, I can fill one of the droppers with gunpowder. Uh, or maybe dragon's breath if I wanted to. Um, and this is just for water bottles. That's uh, pretty much it. And we're not having any problems with the blaze powder <laughs> uh, being uh, red because there's no comparators reading that. And yeah, this is it. I'm going to have to remodify these just a little bit. Looks like I didn't have to take the whole thing down, just the redstone. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. And because... Oh, you know, I think we're still out of time. <laughs> um, 
I feel like I've been talking a little too much, but you know what? Maybe, maybe. I'm going to try to fancy this up a little bit, see if I like it. Uh, make it look a little presentable and everything. So let me do that, and then we'll probably end the episode there. One, two, three. Just really quick want to see how this is going to look. So this is what I did. <laughs> it's a lot of wood still. This whole house is just, or this whole building is just a lot of wood. I think I want to keep this here. Makes it look like there's more to be seen, but really there isn't. Uh, <laughs> obviously. We might put like a chest or something in here. I don't know. Some sort of storage. But, um, yeah, this is how it looks when it's all covered up and everything. And what I like about this design is you can't, okay, you can a little bit if you try. Um, there's not too many, too many areas you can go and peek through, and even, uh, you know, I think I could probably squeeze some sort of wood block there. Yep, just did it. Uh, well now I'm curious. Let's put that there, and you can peek through here too, so let's put this right there. Yeah, you can't see anything. None of the redstone back there. If you really tried... Oh, no, 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 I bet... Yep, there you go. Now you can't see like any of- okay, I'm speaking too soon. Um, you can see some stuff back there, but it's nothing too serious, right? Can I do anything else? No. And I'm okay with that. I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is what the whole thing kind of looks like, I suppose. It's a lot of wood. I have a problem right here. I can't dig any of this out because it's what you walk on when you uh, enter this area so yeah a little strange uh maybe we can do something like this ah uh, that's a lot of spruce wood i might mm, this place might need a little bit more work <laughs> uh but overall i'm pretty happy with uh all of this it took a lot of time a lot of trial and error um, not just with the redstone, but with like this whole building area too. I think I went over that. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of these um, brewing stand thingies. Um, and let me know what you think of this whole build. I know it's not a great build. <laughs> Definitely not a great build. But uh, for what I wanted it to be, just a small area to like store some stuff in, I think it, it came out pretty well. Um, and of course, you know, I'll like stack this whole area with like chests and stuff like this. This isn't staying here. I just threw those down because I had them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Mr. Envelope and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.